Gonna be a nice little project for the day. Uh, this little D5 G dozer. These yokes here ended up splitting open that way, so need to squeeze them back together. That's the good side, actually. This is the bad side over here. Grab that straight edge. See how far out it is. Yeah, it's got about, let's say about a three quarters of an inch. Been bad enough. Whoa. And then this guy here also is a little bit out. So, a little heating and a beating. Made myself a little fork. Try and grab the end of it there in this slow pressure with the chain come along. Hopefully it'll be able to ease it up and uh, move it back in position. Then I gotta get one of these guys off. Uh, don't exactly know what, what's wrong with it. I guess the seal's leaking maybe. I don't know. Customer uh, had a mechanic out here take this apart for me. So he uh, took it apart. I'll straighten it out. He'll put it back together. Sure is nice country out here. Out here in uh, this part of Texas. Really pretty. All right, enough talk. The chain set up. Uh, I'm gonna pull up against the side of the truck. And I got a little bit of tension on here on this bar. And boy, do I have a little bit of tension. Didn't even realize it was so easy. And this bar is bowing. So at least I'll know it's getting somewhere uh, once I start seeing the chain relax. So now my thought process is just to put some heat in this area here, see if I can expand it and I let it uh, relax and hopefully that will work. So here we go. Good news that about as straight as I can get it right now a lot of leverage and clamping but that is about as straight as it can get so we're gonna let it cool there just for a second this is the worst one and uh, we're gonna grab a bite to eat and so being that I'm pulling against my truck on that end over there uh, we're, we've done this outer one now we're gonna do that inner one in that direction then we'll move the truck to this side then move this guy over and that opposite one over so all right break time so this is our setup here we got our pintle hitch a little bit of a side load but that's all right and, uh, three ton chain come along with a heavy duty chain reaching across the other side We've already gotten, it's got a little bit of a bow and it's still under tension. We've already straightened this guy out. So that's looking nice. Nice and straight. Uh, this guy here has to come in. I forget, let me see. Needs to come in about half an inch. So same thing with the other side. It's going by half inch. Looking down the back side, this guy looks good here. It looks nice and straight, so we're going to use that as our zero mark. And we're going to reach it. Once we go park the truck on the other side, we're going to put the same fork here and push inwards. And this, they had, customer told me they put a patch plate over this because um, the bolts stripped inside uh, mounting the rollers. And instead of fixing it, they 
torch out a hole and put a nut inside and they had cut a, a opening on the side so this this is a patch to cover that opening which is fine i may have to cut it off i don't actually know if this will allow it to stretch because i don't know if this was already in the bad position when they welded that on so i might have to gouge that off but we shall see uh, next step is to get these guys off or this guy this one guy here we're gonna do that possibly after lunch all right this way about this crazy heavy thing anyway? The bread I get. Get up. I'm pressing my keys. Machine? Well, it's, it's sliding on the track sideways. Okay, that's right. I pull the deep, huh? Keep moving. Nope. Okay, I think that, that was about it. Because <laughs> this bar is bending pretty good now. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Let's um, let's pull out the um, cables because I got our gouge that played off. Yeah, single-handedly pull the. <laughs> so it looks like they uh, they put this patch plate over it after this was bent already so i'm gonna art gouge it off and straighten it out maybe put it back on not exactly sure i'll have to see how big an opening or how big a holes on the side of that uh, piece so we'll see
Okay, now we're going to try and um, do the same situation with uh, tying the chain to the truck and to come along in hopes that it will straighten this out. I'm going to be heating up this area right in here. And uh, last time I had that bar clamp over here, but I don't want to affect the measurement from this because this actually looks pretty good. So if I can just bend it only with this by itself, it didn't need much. So I'll be able to you know, bend it just slightly less than and hopefully the spring back is just enough. So anything is better than what it is now. So here we go. It looks to be done. I'm just waiting on that to cool off. This side came out pretty good. Turns out the measurement's supposed to be nine and three eighths, so we got it to nine and three eighths. Uh, this guy, we clamped it up or put tension on it just a little bit less than nine and three eighths, so it it um, it when it relaxes, it'll spring back. But all's looking good, so I think that should do it for now. Just gotta clean up the threads on this guy, and we'll be in good shape. So, uh, hope you guys dig it, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.